quick tip for you today. Uh, it's about these back plates. Sometimes it's impossible to remove them or to put them back. They seem to make them too tight. Or do they really? Well, don't go anywhere. I'll show you. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you're too busy to write a letter, just send a postcard. Yeah, so that your friends know that you didn't forget. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to post a quick tech tip for you, uh, just so that you know that I'm still thinking about you. Because uh, I'm busy working on other things also for you. But, you know, we'll get to that when the time comes. Welcome back to Guitar Quackery, where tech tips are always very useful. You know, like postcards. So let's go. We have a situation that's not uh, uncommon. Uh, so we're changing the battery, uh, but the problem is this plate. So if you try to put it back, as you can see, it doesn't fit inside of this recessed area. Not even if you push it hard. Uh, it was uh, really uh, tough to get it out because it was uh, uh, really wedged inside. If you try to start it on this end, you can't push it down all the way here either. So why does this happen? Um, it happens because they use fresh wood for um, instruments nowadays and they make it all right. This initially fits but then the wood shrinks and this is trapped inside. So you remove the screws and you can't remove the plate. Um, so I had to uh, uh, really force it out, um, came out, so now we need to uh, uh, trim it a little bit on this side, okay? Sorry for the interruption. Oh. Guitar quackery. Okay, good, but uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're interrupting something. Okay, good. We'll talk later. Thank you, bye. Uh, as I was saying, sorry for the interruption, the time has come to remind you. Uh, if you think you're gonna like this video, uh, you know what to do, right? So the links are downstairs, okay? That's it. Okay, so now let's get back to work. I'll just be using some uh, 80 grit sandpaper. I got 120 on this side. I think 80 grit will do just fine. And I'll just sand this down like that. The abrasive that I'm using is uh, called 3M Stick It. You can buy that on Amazon. I'll put some affiliate links below. So if you wanna uh, buy through the affiliate links, just so you know, I do make a commission off of it, uh, but it doesn't change the price you pay. Right? So you can check the links. Um, also, to finish it off, uh, you you need to deburr it a little bit. So just turn it 45 degrees at an angle and deburr both sides. And then uh, once that's done, uh, just check to see if it fits and repeat the process until it fits. I think we need to remove a little bit from here as well. Every situation is different. Uh, sometimes you will have to uh, reduce the size of the plate all around and that's because you want to maintain the uh, proper alignment of the screw holes. All right, so uh, just use your best judgment and keep checking and then eventually it will fit. Okay, so now it fits uh, nicely. Just need to put the battery inside and the screws. I know this video is not exactly of the caliber that you're used to getting from the Guitar Quackery YouTube channel. But like I said, I only had time to send a quick postcard just to keep the show on the road. And also, as I mentioned, I'm actually working on some 
interesting developments for future videos. So I'm doing my part uh, and you need to do your part. Just keep watching the videos that I post, uh, you know, just to keep the engine well oiled for the algorithm to, you know, do its thing. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you except uh, I'll see you soon and thank you very much.